Uh, we're going to check out the answers and the solutions to a lot of the questions in the big idea, the do now, the exit clip, and the lesson. So let's check it out. So let's start with the do now. The do now, you have this question about uh, two parallel lines, A, B, and C, D, and you have to find the measure of X, or what X is equal to. So what we had to do is just take into account that we have two ulterior uh, angles, interior ulterior angles. Um, and so if this is 2x, this has to be 2x. And then we use the triangle angle sum theorem to say that if this is 2x, then 2x plus 3x plus 90 has to add up to 180. And that gives us x is 18. So that's how we did the 2 now. Uh, then we moved on to the big idea. For the big idea, you had to again find the measure of that angle with the question mark. I don't know if you can see it there. It's right over here. You have to find the measure of angle DAE. So to do that, what we did is we recognized that this is a line, right? You see that? This right over here, that's just a line. So a line adds up to 180 degrees. So if a line adds up to 180 degrees, we know that this angle plus this angle plus whatever this middle angle is has to end up to 180. So we then found that middle angle is 40 degrees. So after we found that middle angle is 40 degrees, we just had to use the triangle angle sum theorem. We looked at this green triangle and we said, hey, one angle is 40, another one is 90. We don't know what this one is, but we'll figure it out because the whole thing adds up to 180. So we solved for that angle and we got 50. That's it. That's all there is to the big idea. All right, let's check out the exit slip. Where is the exit slip? Um, here it is, right in the corner. So for the exit slip, what we were doing is we had two pairs of parallel lines. This line and this line are parallel. And we also have this line and this line are parallel. Now, knowing those facts and knowing that this is 34 and this is 57, we have to find the measure of this question mark angle, right? What is the measure of this angle? Well, guess what? We did it. We're, we almost came close, right? We figured out that if this is 34, this is a corresponding angle. This one is a corresponding angle. So that also has to be 34. We figured out that if this is 57, this is a corresponding angle. So it also has to be 57. And so now we're on the last part, right? We know that, hey, this is 30. Whoa. Yikes. So we know that this is 34. This angle right here is 34. And we know that this angle is 57. So if we want to find out the last angle, we got to use the triangle angle sum theorem. We got 134 degree angle here. We got another 57 degree angle here. And we got another last angle. And we know that adds up to 180. So let's just see what that adds up to. Okay. So 34 plus 57, hmm, not too good with addition, but let's see. That should give me 91 plus the question mark angle. So that means the question mark angle should be 89. That's right. We just figured out what our question mark angle should be. That's it. There is. That's all there is to the exit slip, folks. All right. Now let's check out the homework. All right. So how do we find the value of x? So here's what I propose. And so... Uh, look at this line right here. You know that lines add up to 180 degrees, right? So this whole shebang should add up to 180. But we already see that part of the angle is taken up by this guy, 3x minus 10. So whatever is left over has to be 180 minus what's already taken, 3x minus 10. And so now we have all the angles in our triangle. So rewarding. So we can focus on our green triangle right here. So let's see. How are we going to do that? So I know that the angles in a triangle add up to 180. So let's use that. So I know I have 145 degree angle. I have a X plus 15 degree angle. And I have a long 180 minus 3X minus 10 angle. Okay. And I know all of this has got to add up to 180. Okay. Let's see, I got some things going on here. I know this 180 and 180 cancel out. Okay, so now I just have to solve for x. 45 plus 15, hmm, that's gotta be 60, right? Okay, hopefully that, that comes out right. And then I have this x still left over. 
All right, so 45 plus 15, that's gonna give us 60. And then we have plus x minus 3x plus 10. And that's gonna equal zero because I crossed out this 180 with this one. And now all I have to do is solve for x. I know that I'm gonna have 70 minus 2x equals zero. 70 equals 2x. And so x equals 35 degrees. That's all there is to it. That's how you find the measure of angle X or, or just X okay and finally we have this this diagram you got two parallel lines I still want to find the measure of X so how are we gonna do that well immediately the first thing I notice is these two lines are parallel right so this angle and this angle are alternate interior so this also has to be X okay so how do we find the measure of X so here's what I see I see this angle is alternate interior with this angle right so since those angles are alternate and interior angles they have to be congruent so this one also has to be x so notice this line over here because we have a line here we know it needs to add up to 180 degrees but look we already have 110 here so this one has to be 70 degrees now we can just focus on our triangle our yellow triangle right here so we know by the triangle angle sum theorem that's 70 degrees plus 50 degrees plus our missing angle has to add up to 180 degrees and now we can just solve for our missing angle 120 plus x equals 180 and so x has to be 60 degrees and we're done folks there you go that's the solutions for the entire lesson